So this is going to be the start of a new series where we create a 2D grid map that you'll be able to move around in using the arrow keys. But uh, in this specific video, we're going to focus on getting like all of the, the GUI stuff out of the way. So we're going to start off with creating our root window. So come to Kinter, import everything. And then we're going to create our root as a class. So class root, have it inherit from TK. Define in it. Pass in cell. Then we're going to do super in it. And then uh, we're going to give it a title. So self.title. And I'm going to call it 2D grid map. Okay. And then we're going to make it full screen with the self dot state. And then we're going to pass in zoom. Okay. Now we're going to create an if statement. So we're going to do if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main as a string. Then we're going to initialize our root class so root is equal to root initialize and then we're going to call our roots main loop method okay now we're going to save on that all right so you should have like a screen that pops up and it's going to be full screen okay so the next thing we want to do is create the frame that goes on the left i'll call it the control frame that's where we're going to be able to put in like our world size and stuff like that so i'll just put a comment here Control frame. All right, so next we're going to do self dot control frame equal to frame. This parent is going to be self. Then we're going to go ahead and display it with control underscore frame dot pack. We're going to set it to the left side. And then we're going to have it fill the entire Y area. Right, so next we're going to give it a title. So we'll do control dash title. Then we'll do self dot control underscore label. C equal to label. Self dot control underscore frame. Text is going to be equal to controls. Now we're going to display it. So self dot control underscore label dot grid and then we want to set it in row one excuse me row zero column zero and then we want to give it a column span of two okay so now let's save and run that All right so you should have this label clock controls over here on the left side you can't see the control frame but as long as you see this it should be there Okay, so now we're going to get started on our world size setting. So we'll do control dash world size. All right, so we're going to create a label self dot world size underscore label is equal to label. And we're going to put it in the self dot control frame. And we're going to give it a text of world size colon. And of course, we want to display it. Self dot world size underscore label dot grid. And we're going to give this a row of one. So rows equal to one. And we're going to give it a column of zero. Now let's save on that. So you should have world size underneath controls here. So now we're going to create a string variable. So we're going to call it self dot world size underscore var is equal to string var and then we're going to give it a default value so self dot world size underscore var dot set and then I'm going to set mine equal to 10 so that's going to be my default value and now we're going to create a um, an entry widget so self dot world underscore size underscore int is equal to entry we're going to put it in the control frame then um, let's see we want to set this text variable equal to self.world underscore size underscore var 
And we're gonna do uh, self dot world underscore size underscore int dot grid to display it. And then we're gonna put this in row one, column one. Now let's save, run it, right? So your entry should be right here to the right of your world size label. All right, so now we're going to add an update button that we're gonna click every time we want our um, map to update. So let's do control dash update. So we're going to self dot update underscore button is equal to button. We'll put it in self dot control frame. We're going to give it a text and it's going to say update. And of course we're going to display it. Update button dot grid. So this is going to be in row two. Column zero, and it's going to have a column span of two. So now let's save on that. Okay. So you should have your control label right here, your world size, your entry with your default value, and then your update button right here. So now we're going to add a frame for our map, which is going to be on the right side of the screen. So we're going to do hashtag map frame. So self dot map underscore frame is equal to frame. Parents want to be self. Then we'll do self dot map underscore frame dot pack to display it. We'll also put this on the left side. We'll do fill is equal to both, and then expand is equal to one. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to create our location label. That's going to tell us like the coordinates of our location. So we're gonna do map dash location label, self dot location underscore var equals string var. And then we're also gonna give this a default value. So self dot location underscore var dot set. I'm just gonna put a location colon and the next, we're going to do self.location underscore label is equal to label. We want to put it in self.map underscore frame. And then we want to set its text variable equal to self.location underscore var. Then we're going to display it. So self.location underscore label dot pack. All right, we're going to save that and run it. Okay. So of course, just like um, with the control frame, you have our um, map frame over here. You can't see it, but you know, if you have location up here, you know, it should be there. All right. So I think our final step here is we're going to actually create the map canvas. So let's do map dash canvas. And then we're going to do self dot map underscore can. Let's see to canvas. And we're going to put this inside of the self dot map underscore frame. Do self dot map underscore can dot pack. We're going to do fill is equal to both. We want it to fill out both the x and y. And then we're going to do expand is equal to one. Okay. So now we're going to save and run that. And uh, it's there, the canvas is there, you just can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the background here just to make it more obvious. So I'm just do background is equal to gray and save and run that. All right, so this is proof that the canvas is actually there. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to um, actually start drawing things onto our canvas here. Um, we're going to actually draw like our tile map here. So here, how it says 10, whenever we click update, we'll actually have a 10 by 10 tile map on the canvas here. And then we're actually going to draw our player character, you know, the at symbol, which is common. So stay tuned for that.